What's happening, beautiful people? How are we doing? Hope you're doing very well. Uh, been probably about two, two, just slightly over two weeks since I've done done a video type of thing. I try to do one every year, uh, kind of two weeks or so. You know what I mean? So, uh, hope everyone's been too well. Get that crap out of my bed. Put all that comment as well. But yeah, it's been uh, pretty good. I mean, I've obviously been waiting for a bit of rain as well, which I've actually got a bit of rain, so I didn't have to uh, uh, water the plants and grass and all that as much. And I think, well, I made that slight mistake when I cut the grass a bit too deep, but you can actually see it's starting to go back. I'm hoping that I don't have to um, redo that grass. I'll probably give it to the end of the month, see how it is. But if I don't, if I have to relate, I'll relate, you know what I mean? You make... Um, you, mis you learn from your mistakes stuff then you know what I mean so you just have to see how things go do you know what I mean so hey but I hope you everyone's been quite well as I say it's just been uh doing quite quite a few things and all this type of stuff as well I've got new um pair of trainers and uh for my gym you know what I mean it's almost like got the like pair of boxing boots kind of thing because it's good for my ankle but got quite a few uh ligament damage down in my uh, ankle and stuff like that so I'll be doing all the exercising and stretching and all this type of stuff to my um for it and I feel like that the boots help um support my ankle do you know what I mean so so only wear and tear for all the weight training I've been doing for so many years uh always went always went hard done done a few little things here and there that stuff as well which was always good always fun do you know what I mean? I'm going up to um, like the, what's it, N NEC Arena Leeds? What's that? I don't know, I forgot what the name of it is because I remember watching, going up there watching Bet the Strongman. I've always grew up loving uh, watching those Strongman competitions. I remember growing up, especially down in the 80s. Shame me, you know, 35, born October 2084. So I remember ever since I remember, I was watching a lot of the Strongman. I was watching a lot of the, like, the old British wrestling. People like Kendo Nagasaki, Les, Les Kelly, Big Daddy, right? Giant A stacks, you know what I mean? Mick McManus, always get the old old grannies eating it with a bag. You know what I mean? Always get a good ill and all that type of stuff as well. And used to watch a lot of that. Even like the, uh, um, grew up watching like the American wrestling from Hulk Hogan, Hotel Warrior, Bruno Sammartino. Going up and like a lot of these guys and stuff like that as well, you know, even Patsky, Mr. Perfect, Bobby Union. Yeah, a lot of the list goes on. And I still like like watching about the rest of the internet, you know what I mean? So, um, which is good. Never past time. Uh, I feel like I remember I was like, uh, put a picture on, um, on my social media of um, Andre Giant. I freaking I love the guy, man, you know what I mean? Growing up, I just tell my mum and dad, I'm like, you want one of these days, I'm going to be as big as him because. They so say they stood that right seven foot four, uh, seven foot four inches tall and that as well. And always just say I'm going to be as big as that one day. I'm going to be as big as that. Well, it never happened because I'm only five foot ten, so I'm about over a foot and a half shorter than that. You know what I mean? I was like, but still pissed off with that. You know what I mean? I said like, I'm not as big as him. Would have been. I say it would have been hard being over seven foot tall, but anyway, so I remember watching um, a HBO special on um, Andre. And tell him, man, he always, always tried to smile and always like to keep busy and all that type of stuff. But he's, he said he was a sad guy as well, man. He said people used to take the mick out of him and that's because he's tall, call him a freak, call him ugly, call him this and that. Man, he definitely, definitely come out feeling it after watching um, the, the HBO, HBO special on Andre, you know what I mean? And even to this day, man, I still kind of like watch documentaries on him and watch like youtube stuff and what people felt about him was gonna work with him i remember like the undertaker um said that he was even he was kind of always say intimidate but even he was like wow you know what i mean this this is the boss <laughs> you know what i mean but he said he grew up obviously watching these kind of things and all that as well and i remember especially being born in the 80s watching like the football and stuff like that as well big Everyone like, especially, especially when in the eighties, nineties, everyone like Man United going to school. So I say, yeah, yeah, I like Man United. I like, but you know, as I say, so that as you go older, you you realise that it's like you get a lot of excited watching West Ham, West Ham playing all that as well, you know. And um, 
I figured just literally fell in love with them properly, especially from a young age. I mean, I like Man United, everyone else is liking them and all that type of stuff. And um, it was great. You know what I mean? I, when the time I used to watch uh, um, Man United play, yeah, 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 nice, great players. And I always like Eric Cantona, man. I just, I just do a lot of Eric Cantona. Do you know what I mean? But I think I just... Uh, in time I watched West Ham, for some reason they just sat in the band. I was freaking out, man. It's just love watching them. And even now, and obviously they, there's a, there's, man, they, they, they go up and down more times than prostitute niggas, you know what I mean? So they always, uh, always, <laughs> one day they could be there, one day they can't be there, you know what I mean? But all you can hope is obviously you keep it supporting your team no matter what. And obviously got a West Ham tattoo. And a couple of bubbles on my arm and that as well, which obviously my left arm for you tattooed up and stuff like that as well. And which is good, I was gonna actually get uh, start my right arm off in April of this year, but obviously, this uh, COVID corona bed drinking smashing came in, you know what I mean? So, all of that got cancelled, you know what I mean? So, so as I said, I was gonna book off at the end of the month. Hoping obviously, like, well, I booked off two, like, one end of July type stuff so I can um, get toes done then as well. Do you know what I mean? So at least I know that my whole right arm's finished. You know what I mean? At least I can say fully sleeved up, both left and right. Do you know what I mean? So, which is good. And obviously, then I probably would have waited for probably about a year, a year and a half before I get my, get my chest done. Do you know what I mean? I've got, like, designed to get my chest done. And even like today, I wanted to, um, I started designing kind of like, um, want to put on like, on the side ribs kind of thing for West Ham. Yeah, I know it's called West Ham. Do you know what I mean? And, uh, which is actually got my, uh, nickname West Ham Singh. And it's like, obviously, you know, <laughs> stuck on me type of stuff as well. I remember going, who was that? On a pub that sound like that as well. It's like that's not like that people being racist towards me and all that type of stuff. And I was actually West Ham supporters also. I love West Ham supporters. And ended up having a couple of mate who come and helped us out. And that's where the which West Ham scene comes from and that. And just just stayed stuck with me over the last 10, 15 odd years now. And customised my turban for it. And this is actually like on kind of um, uh, on social media type of thing as well. On Insta, on Twitter and Facebook. Do you know what I mean? So I started, I saw some another guy um, who I've actually had the pleasure of uh, meeting. And he's actually from Plymouth. And uh, now I see him a couple of years ago, I saw him like, um, what he done to his turban. I thought that this looks really cool. Do you know what I mean? And I said, I think it, he's getting attention. and. There's so much like there's so much racism going on at the moment and all this type of stuff as well. And so I think it's that all, all all lives matter. You know what I mean? So black, white, orange, blue, everyone matters. And it's it's a shame what's happening to different people, different cultures and stuff like that as well. It's, it's not good. Do you know what I mean? It's just something that I think we should all come together and fight. You know what I mean? It's don't just go against this your left wing, right wing, centre back, striker. Set them in, you know. What I mean, it doesn't matter what you want to come on, you need to get kind of rid of it. I mean, I've had some racism come towards me because obviously being Asian, I've had people tell me I should go back to my country. I was like, listen, I was born and bred down in um, um, the UK, but at a day, I probably end up still getting from stupid people saying you should go back to your country, and um, it's sad because. Tell the truth, I don't think this kind of like this kind of thing, racism and all this type of stuff will always go away. I think there's always gonna be people out there that ignorant people or stupid people saying this and that. Right, and um, I remember years ago when I was actually working in the clubs and bars and I uh, worked in a like a gay club down in the city. In the city and stuff, and obviously that was like probably one of the first times I actually kind of like uh, started looking at when I started to get to know it, my late teens kind of thing about like being with like gay people. And also I was like, I wouldn't say I was kind of freaked out. I was kind of confused. I was thinking, wait, well, what's all of this type of stuff? You know what I mean? So, but as I say, it doesn't matter 
who you are or what you feel or anything like that. You see, you, you do what's right for you. Do you know what I mean? And, a lot of people got it hard because so uh, you're not going crazy, man, woman, and stuff like that as well. So, but you have to feel what you feel in your heart. You know what I mean? And there are true people. This is where you find out your true people in your life, the true, the true family, the true friends, and stuff like that as well. So, I've like I mean, I've, I've been through like Ellen back, but it's it's how you deal with it, and how you get over it. I go through kind of depression and times when I just wanted to felt like I just wanted to go drop dead but i'm still here you know what i mean and also i would just say that i'll see my both my grandparents who had a big hand in helping raise who i am today and they they helped me out so much and i'm grateful grateful for that them my, my parents to always try my best to be the best i can be and even though my grandparents are not here i'm blessed that my parents are still here and i keep on doing what i do for them you know what I mean? And I always say that one of the key things is your happiness and what's there for you. Do you know what I mean? So there's so much kind of like hatred going around to other people and what you are. I said, why is it your problem? Do you know what I mean? And especially it's like what is going on with America and Donald Trump and... I'm not a big fan of Trump. There's a lot of things that he said and done. I think, what an idiot. You know what I mean? But it is a shame. And another thing I read on the news was um, Kanye West, who wants to uh, become president of the UK. Do you know what I mean? So, hey, listen, when it comes down to it, you never know. There was at one point, uh, it was talked about Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Oprah Winfrey. Guy and putting their uh, hands in to become president, right? And um, even Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger, even if trust me, if it, obviously they say that if you the only way you can run for president if you was actually American born, if you was actually physically born in America, in America, you know what I mean? And obviously, good old Arnold getting that job up, right? I know, a good impression, isn't it? Right, so he said, so even he would have you ran for president. And knowing that, I put we probably would have won. You know what I mean? To tell the truth, all the motivational things that I've seen him do over the years. Uh, even if I was American, I'd, I'd, probably, I'd, I'd probably end up fighting for him as well. You know what I mean? He just had his way of actually uh, uh, <laughs> getting you to vote for him. You know what I mean? He could get in. What are you doing? Right. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Vote for me. You know what I mean? This is almost that one though. Hey, listen, I know my pressure ain't the best in the world, I know. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But I think that's like a main call, isn't it? Like Marco Polo for a minute, making that. La, 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 la. But, <laughs> but yeah, listen, if anyone down there will probably end up going and become, become president, probably end up getting it. You know what I mean? But as I say, man, we've still got this like COVID coronavirus going on and all that type of stuff. And it has come down a lot. And it said that Leicester down in the UK, they put their back in lockdown. And you know, see about putting places like Wol Wolverhampton and all that type of stuff. And like the surrounding areas around that place to lock them down as well because it's almost like a second ish type wave. And the last thing I want down here, because I was down in Dagenham, type of thing, nothing around here, there, obviously some cases still going on here, and stuff like that. And I think, uh, I think it was too early to open like places like pubs and restaurants and that, you know what I mean? Obviously, yeah, restaurants, just keep it as takeaway. You know what I mean? Just use that as takeaway, don't open them up like that, you know what I mean? So as much as you want to keep the, um, get the economy going, do you know what I mean? It's, uh, I see it, I personally think it should at least near the end of July. Do you know what I mean? At least July to mid August type of thing to start opening up a lot of the things, things like that as well. Because, like myself, I think there's like millions, ah, millions of people. Uh, see, no rock. I'm trying to do the rock, but I can't. I ain't got an eyebrow like his. But, um, <laughs> it's uh, one of those things, it's like, don't want a second wave because there's been like second waves um 
Guys are country because I think it was a uh, like India's getting it quite bad now. I think America's like calmed down a bit, but this has been second waves a lot of places. Do you know what I mean? And I had a feeling that opening up too early type thing as well. And I think what UK should have stopped it like going in earlier earlier when things were getting bad. Should have locked down a whole lot earlier than they should have. But um but hopefully fingers crossed see how things go. We could do just pray and just do your best to take care of yourself. You know what I mean? So I'm hoping it does, but they say hopefully they get like a an antidote or like some, you know, vaccine type thing to help the coronavirus to shut it off. Because here yeah, it's, it's almost one of those jokes. It is, uh, uh, when, when you do something stupid and your mum goes, I'm going to slap you to next year. Right, well, kid goes up to mum, I go, mum, can you slap me next year, please? I've had enough this year. <laughs> you know what I mean? So hopefully see how it goes, but I'm hoping... Those and stuff. In that part, of it, I've actually enjoyed being off um, off work because obviously not hot work can be tough and work tough stuff. But I, I love my job. I work in health and safety, and I love my job. You know what I mean? And if you love your job, you go and you enjoy what you do. You have good times, bad times. That's the facts of life. But uh, it's up to you to make those changes. Do you know what I mean? If you don't like something, you, you change it. Right? We we have choices in our life. We have to choose what we want. What choices? to what to eat, to when to wake up, to brush your teeth, how you brush your teeth, how you, sh how you shower. You, you've got choices of everything in this world. There's so much things that we can choose from. There's so many countries we can choose to go to, right? And look how many states there's, I think, what, 50 or 51 states in America, I think? And, like, around about 50, so as I say, it's, um, there's so many places to go down there. Go to Canada, go to somewhere in Spain, go to somewhere in Italy, Australia. And I was, and I was actually planning to go to Australia this year as well. We've got two, like, two good guys, like, guys up there. But obviously it's kind of flopped and all that type of stuff as well because of this coronavirus type of stuff. But as I say, it, that's what it's always saying, man. I hope obviously everyone's taken this time to actually realise, look, oh, you know what, let's get things done. You know what I mean? There's things that we needed to get done while we've been off work. You know what I mean? And I've got a lot done in my house. Laid new lawn and all that type of stuff. I think, like I was saying a little while back, I made that kind of mistake by cutting the lawn a bit too low. So I'm giving it to the end of the month to see how that goes. And if it if it doesn't grow as much as I want it to, if it doesn't do what I, what I want it to do, then obviously I'll have to relay it. But <coughs> it is what it is at the day. It has to get done. So... I think I just, I think I slightly messed it up with cutting it way in the water. <laughs> Go off topic. All right, but I think I cut it way too deep. You know what I mean? So, but hopefully see how it goes. It should be perfectly fine anyways. So, it's, uh, I think it's one of us, I'll be watching a lot of movies kind of thing, caught up with a lot of, um, of the newer videos, new films over the last couple of months that have happened, like, last two three years 28 17 18 19 last 10 years and there were a few films that i wanted to watch that was coming out this year but some of them have been um postponed and all that type of stuff as well so i watched the sonic watched uh better john wick you know what i mean watch the matrix well I, when i'm on the some of the martial arts films so uh, I've watched I've learned different, different types of films, you know what I mean? So I different watch different types of music and, and all that type of stuff. You know what I mean? So, which was always good. And have that type of chill out time when I would listen to better music, depending on what kind of mood I am. Like yesterday, I was in that kind of like um, blues music, better BB King, Muddy Waters. Do you know what I mean? So I was listening to a bit of that. I mean, even like two days, even a few days ago, I was listening to a lot of hip hop. Do you know what I mean? From Dre, Snoop, Eminem, you know. And it's like that, even before that, I was on a bit of heavy metal. Heavy metal's always been one of my favourite uh, kind of type of music. It was like Bangra, Indian music, kind of type of stuff as well, you know. And uh, it's just a matter of actually saying, what, what do we do? And it, I hope obviously it's like been talking over the last couple of months, actually finding a new hobby, finding a new thing. 
and uh, I was only chatting to a few friends only a couple of days ago. I said, listen, the amount of stuff that we've been doing over the last couple of months, keeping busy, learning new things, improving our like, skills. I said, we can actually open our own um, company up. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Some have been doing some building work, some have been doing a bit of gardening and stuff like that as well. So I said, well, we might just open our own company. I forget, forget about going back to work. We might as well just start our own company, innit? All right, and I think we'll make a, we'll make a, um, make a, uh, make a, make a killing, you know what I mean? So, it's just a matter of actually saying, what can we do to improve life? Keep smiling, uh, and keep them, keep them going, you know what I mean? And also, I think even now, you can see how my bed's actually improved over the last, um, couple of months since I've been, obviously, been off, type of stuff as well. We're doing more things to it, type of stuff as well. We're brushing it and that. And it's been coming quite well, you know what I mean. So, and Tasha's obviously getting bigger and type of stuff as well, which is always good. And doing curls, and I think I've been like kind of um, wearing wearing my turban a whole lot more now because obviously because I'm doing off from work. So, you know, as you can see, wearing my bandana, I've been in the gym type thing, and we tend to wear my bandana when I'm in the gym. And uh, which is good, I mean, tell the truth, but I, I, in a way, I'm quite blessed that I've actually got me on gym at home. Do you know what I mean? Because I think it would have probably uh, done my nothing not being able to go to the gym to do a workout. But uh, lucky enough, in the sense that I'm blessed in that sense that I've been doing it for so long that you can actually learn how to do a workout even without even using any type of weights and just using things at home. Do you know what I mean? So, even the simple things as press ups and sit ups. Lifting up a chair, lifting another table up, lifting another sofa up, doing a couple of squats, you know what I mean? It, 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 it doesn't take that much to just do something to get the get the, the blood flowing through the body type of stuff as well, isn't it? So, which is, um, which is always good. So, but even though I had obviously a few goals to try losing a bit of uh, weight, because I mean, I used to, I think the biggest I ever got to was around about... 20, 20 stone-ish type of thing, just like over 20. But I think I'm probably down around about 16 now. <laughs> Gonna get down a little bit more, toning in type of thing and all that type of stuff as well. Not get to get, but whole, I obviously did have muscle before, but it was a lot more, because I did a lot more heavy, 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 heavy lifting type of thing. So I wasn't really preoccupied with getting like six pack or anything like that. But I think, as I've seen, don't really do the heavy, proper heavy lifting anymore, so I do more of the tone, toning in type thing and all that. So, been doing a whole lot more, doing, doing a whole lot more cardio type thing as well. So, I spend half an hour, 45 minutes every day, five days a week doing about cardio, and cross train on the bike and the ride machine, and uh, do a lot of stretching, a lot of weights type of thing, more, more repetitions type of thing, and, which is always blessed. Always good, and obviously I'm getting to the position where I am, and I don't weigh myself all the time. Do you know what I mean? I just go and how I feel how I feel, and I know I feel that I've actually lost quite a lot of weight in the last uh, couple of months. That been off, and it's always been a good thing. That we've been just losing it, and uh, but oh, I, I, I think it's so blessed. That's something that we should actually do more of, you know, and. I remember just seeing like that thing where instead of bringing people down, build them back up. Well, I'd be there's people out there that dumb means on me, right? Because they try to bully other people, so they try doing memes on me. And remember when I've done, uh, you know, I've got this like Christmas suit, which I went for Christmas, done some charity work and all this type of stuff. And uh, people put uh, on there. Oh, when you're trying to impress your white friends. There's no way to impress no one. I'm doing something to bring joy to people's lives, to bring happiness into people's life. Do you know what I mean? And say so that in God's eyes, you're equal and all this type of stuff, you know? So, but it's every day is a blessing. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm blessed for all the haters, all the people that love me, that care for me, and all this type of stuff. So, so should you. And we should spend more time trying to build each other up instead of actually bringing in each other down. You know what I mean? It's still like say one love. You show show love to everyone, being no matter who you are, where you come from. 
if just bringing that thing back where you see someone actually smile to them and and say hello again you know i remember back in the day like late 80s when i was born in night i still came to a point where you see something oh good morning how you doing you know I mean? a lot of people don't do that they're ignoring you know what i mean it's almost like what are you looking at we stab you and do that murky but you know what it's sad you know what I mean? And obviously it's like for me, I'm always a kind of happy-go-lucky type of little bit of a dull boy, geezer, out, hey, don't you Get on with life, you know what I mean? But smile, say hello, give my seat up, help people out with the door for people. Be like, what are you doing? I'm doing it myself. I said, mate, go on then. I said, I'm just being nice, you know what I mean? Hope you can hear that. Got a couple of uh, wind chimes outside. I bought one. Dad loved it. Got another one. Just like the sand, isn't it? I might get one of those water features now. You know what I mean? They put it outside. Solar panel ones. But yeah, there are people and I say, why are you so happy for us? I'm happy because I'm here for another day. I'm, <laughs> another day is a blessing. You know what I mean? So I said, that's, that's why I'm happy because I'm here for another day. Right? I'm ugly enough and dumb enough to know how blessed I am to get on with life type of thing. And hopefully, fingers crossed, see how things go. Things will only get better. It's just so uh, can work together. Hopefully, tattoo shops will open in the next uh, couple of weeks. You never know. And get the tattoo done. Hopefully, I can get um, my, my full sleeve done this year. If I get the front part of my right forearm done in July, hopefully, end of July, then in a couple months' time, get the back of my forearm done. At least then my forearm will be like, probably sorted. Then I'll probably end up leaving it for about another about a year. So get the chest done. Then I'll probably leave it another get that done and get another like the West Ham one I've seen uh, a while back. But I hope all of you can come out like smiling more, showing more love. Uh, you know I'm always here. Anyone wants to chat, do you know what I mean? So I'm sending you big love. I want love. Take it easy, people.